taught that sardines are willing to pay good money for 10 minutes of pleasure and a moment of climax. So, oddly, just like pimping, there's a lot of money to be made in VIP tourism. Also, those of you that were appalled by my mm, so tasteful intro, remember, you can sell narcotics, even people, and commit MURDER, not to even mention genocide, on another species in this game. But oh no, you can't name your ship the Wank Tank, that's too much, fucking many state imbeciles. So let's start, as always, with the ship setup. If you watch my previous video on CEO's VIP passenger missions, this won't really change much from it. Anaconda or Beluga are best ships here, but it can be done with any other ship in the game that can hold a sardine can, aka passenger cabins. Here I also must mention that this video is inspired by Down to Earth Astronomy's video on the same topic, but I have some slight changes to introduce. By the way, a link to his original video is in the description, yet it's not up to date. Still, go give him some love. Anyways, pack your ship with passenger cabins that at least has 8 seats, as the missions we are going after won't be picking up more than 8 people. So feel free to experiment, but in my testing I used an Anaconda with the seat layout you can see on the screen. Oh, and make sure to have FSD that can jump at least 15 light years, so that shouldn't be hard. Once you're set up, you need to move your ship to California Neble. Ah, fuck. You can ship your ship there, so you can ship some people with your ship later. That is one method. Another one is to use just fuel scoop and jump there, and later on transfer the missing cabin. Or be a complete ass and ask fuel rats to refuel you every two jumps. This part I'll leave up to you to decide, as there are several ways to do it. Once you have arrived, start picking up VIP passenger missions to Alliance Outpost. Warning though, be mindful not to pick up those missions that ask you to go to the Little Blue. It's a waste of time. The missions that spawn in now, first off in my experience, are predominantly the single destination ones. So you'll go blind from the mission board flipping induced epileptic shock, then get a full ship of Silent Green that wants to go to the Little Blue as well. Plus, they don't really pay more for your time. Now, in my extensive testing, it takes around 12 to 13 minutes to do a full lap. So, as long as you take missions that pay more than 1.2 million, you should be fine, except for the smaller cabins, of course. So, as always, just pick the highest paying missions. So what of the end result? How much more richer could you expect to become? Well, 60 million an hour is very easy to do. And the best run I managed to get was 12 minutes for 18 million. And that, if you know them maths, it's around 90 million an hour rate. Remember that my testing involves starting the timer when I open the mission board, getting the missions, which may include mission board flipping, lifting off, traveling, doing the thing, returning, landing, handing in the missions, and only then and stopping the timer. Now that is a full lap. See, I've noticed a lot of people saying that oh, I make XX millions an hour, but they disregard any proper testing. Yeah, is this next stop down? Sorry, uh, where was I? Alright, so that's the run, and hopefully this will help you get the ship, upgrade, or whatever else you want in the game, and perhaps allow you to enjoy the game, as you won't need to worry about earning money, just doing the thing you like. In which case, do share this video around with others that might find it useful, and hey, if you found another way of making good money, do hit me up on Twitter or email.